What is up you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Yes, it's another Clash of Clans video. Town Hall 9 Galadon rises again. It is time to get back into my Town Hall 9 account. You know, I got to admit I've been a little bit burned out on Clash of Clans lately and hey, Everybody's allowed to do that. Your interest in any game is going to wax and wane. That's just the way things go. And I didn't want to make videos when I don't really have the enthusiasm, but I really am feeling it right now for Town Hall 9 and Galidon. And I want to get back into it and see how we can do as we work to upgrade this Town Hall 9. Town Hall 11 right now, well, it's just, it's still pretty broken, unfortunately. Even at 5,000 trophies, you're in the clouds all the time. Everybody's using mass this or mass that so here we are. We've got Town Hall 9 I've got Galidon and you'll notice check this out a break of uh, From 56 days ago to seven days ago. I wasn't attacked during that stretch now I'm not sure what caused me to start being attacked again Seven days ago. I guess it's always possible that I accidentally logged in for just a second on that iPad I've got several iPads lying around anyway Lost a few million in loot there. You could see definitely a lot of loot being given away to my opponents. It is a brand new Town Hall 9 had just started. Here is the clan. If you guys want to come, we do have a few extra slots available. We are a level 10 clan. Pretty serious about war. As you can see, a pretty good war record. And uh, let's just get into the last war and check it out real briefly against Red Earth. And... Three starring almost every single base, 117 stars. And look at that. Sarah from Clearly Confused from Camcord, Buckeye Gal, leading the way, three starring the number four base with an attack that she claims is pretty much her own devising here. And I have to say, it's pretty unusual. It's like a bowler walk with a back end Goeva. I don't know. But the bowlers out here on the right hand side, they're going to walk all the way around this base and just annihilate stuff. A bowler healer combination out there. And I don't know, just that group of units on the top right of your screen is going to do a massive amount of damage to this base. Looks like a lot of fun. She already has her Archer Queen up to level 8, her King at level 10. They're right into the core. Great funneling works out there. The Town Hall is going to go down. Second star momentarily. Bowlers still out there and having their way with this base. Watch them walk in and trash that air defense. That is going to keep the healers up as they continue to move around. The Archer Queen off on her own, only a little level 8, but she's doing a good job. The Barbarian King just about to fall on the inside. Looks like he's going to get stuck on that wall. There's still a Golem in there as well. There goes the Archer Queen's ability. And again, off the screen on the right-hand side, the Bowler Healer combination. They are pretty much carrying this entire attack. So maybe that speaks to just how overpowering bowlers really are, as this little group of healed up bowlers continues to lay waste to this base design. And I have to tell you, this may be where the sweet spot of Clan War is right now. And I don't mean specifically Town Hall 9. I mean finding clans that aren't necessarily all about every single attack has to be three stars. Every single base has to be anti-3. It's kind of fun to see these type of bases somewhat premature, not necessarily premature, let's just call them not fully developed Town Hall 9s, and Sarah right there, Buckeye Gal, three stars, but we will move on to another one here, as you can see, everything obviously far from maxed out, so it's fun to get in there, try different attacks, Muffy from Full Attack right here is going at it with Valkyries, mostly Valkyries, but check out the four balloons, Heal, Rage, Jump as well. The heroes and everybody going to get funneled in at the top of your screen right here. Again, so refreshing to see these attacks, to see variety in attacks. Third golem out of the clan castle. So three golems at Town Hall 9 all heading in. Here come the mass Valkyries. But again, it's not just Valkyries. You've got a lot of other units as well. And there is the heal spell keeping everybody up as they work their way in towards the core. Those Valkyries pretending that walls aren't even there when they are in groups like that, and especially when they're enraged. Watch this. They're so powerful. Debris from those buildings flying everywhere. Watch out. Don't get it in your eye. It is crazy. Those Valkyries all over the place just annihilating this base. There is the second star. Giant bombs going off. Valkyries laughing them off as well. Muffy well on her. His way. Muffy on Muffy's way to grabbing a three star. And check out the balloons on the corners. 
Two on the right, two on the left. Now the ones on the left get abandoned a little bit and they fall, but the ones on the right, they're protected by the Golem and the Barbarian King. And now there's nothing to stop them as the last anti-air style defense goes down. They split up, finishing off the cannons. Left hand side, there's still a bunch of Valkyries in action and they are going to continue to wreck the rest of this base, 90% damage as this is going to wrap up shortly and I gotta tell you, a lot of fun. I'm gonna be playing the Town Hall 9. I'll be trying Clan Wars, even though I barely, I think I have a level one Archer Queen on my account, but I also have a Town Hall 6 account. We gotta get that one back in action as well. Until Town Hall 11 gets fixed, we are going to try playing some Clash at other Town Halls. So there's Muffy with a three star win and we will move on to yet another three star, this one from Skylar Ryu of Full Attack. And again, here's a Town Hall 10. So maybe right now the sweet spot in this game is for the casual player, not the necessarily hardcore trophy pusher, the hardcore war player. It's the casual player who's grinding, who's farming, who's playing in wars for loot, for fun. I don't know, right now that seems like that is where the most fun in this game is. We will wait and see what develops in the future as far as what is going to change for Clan Wars, for higher level Town Halls. Hopefully as the summer wraps up, you guys know Finland has vacations like crazy in the summertime, so probably why every single July things get really quiet. I'm hoping, I've got my fingers crossed, that we will see big updates, big changes, big news coming soon and you know that I will be covering it. And I promise to bring you more Clash of Clans videos. I also want to get in and cover some other clans, Clan Wars. Do you have a clan that's diehard? Do you have a clan of tight group of friends or co-workers or just doing really well in farming or in war or whatever it is? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know on Twitter at GaladonCoc. I will get out there, visit your clans, and talk to you guys. I want to see some Savage Sevens, some Enraged Eights, some Noxious Nines, and Terrific Tens, and we'll definitely get videos on lots of different Town Halls, lots of different attacks, and I will be playing more as well. There goes another three-star. Congratulations to Skylar and to Full Attack on the Clan War win. And once again, special thanks and shout out to Buckeye Gal Sarah of Clearly Confused of Camcord. I know she is super busy, but in my absence, in my Town Hall 9 hiatus, she has done an amazing job of keeping this clan going. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for daily content. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see more Clash of Clans videos. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks. Town Hall 9, what a noob. I'm Town Hall 11, you know. <laughs>